Do you remember that time a German industrial metal band infiltrated the American new metal movement and blew the minds of mall rats across the world? I sure as fuck do. Grab your favorite pair of headphones and let's listen to this. For today's headphone hideaway, I want to talk about the 2004 release from Rammstein, Riza Riza. So this is a video primarily for anyone out there that is not a Rammstein fan. People that have maybe overlooked them throughout the years or just never took them seriously. I don't know why you wouldn't take Rammstein seriously. Okay, maybe I do understand it to some degree, but, 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 but I wanted to talk about this album today because I feel like it's a really good introductory point for anyone who has never really given Rammstein a fair shake. There are so many different styles of music, influence, lyrical themes, which may go over the heads of a lot of people because there is obviously a language barrier, but for anyone too lazy to look into it. I mean, we're talking political themes, we're talking songs of cannibalism, songs of love, and musically, this album is really diverse and highlights everything that I think is fucking fantastic about Rammstein. Super heavy shit, it has super dancey stuff, it has stuff that sounds like power ballads, stuff that sounds like stadium rock, stuff that sounds like Depeche Mode. It's like, all over the place. Rammstein is a super interesting band to me because they're ginormous in terms of their popularity. They are fucking huge. But still, to this day, I know plenty of people that I think would love this band, but for whatever reason, they've just never listened to them. I don't know if it's a thing where the language barrier is a weird thing, or maybe there's other gimmicky, silly stuff that the band has done that it's kind of hard to look past, and I totally get it. But I think that you need to have a certain sense of humor to completely understand Rammstein, regardless of the fact that a lot of the subject matter that their songs deal around is pretty serious and dark at times. And the bands themselves, I mean, they're, they're super serious musicians. They take what they do seriously, but there's definitely just this sense of dark humor around everything that they do, regardless of how serious something may be. And I think that if your brain isn't quite ready to click into that, whatever headspace you allow yourself to get into before digesting media like that is the same headspace that I would recommend putting yourself into before listening to anything that Rammstein has done. Most people know them from the Du Hast era of the band, which was definitely a lot more like Euro industrial metal. But as the band evolved, they've definitely turned a lot more into just what I consider to be a straight up metal band industrial influenced obviously but definitely like more metal than industrial whereas i think the first two albums that this band put out were definitely a lot more industrial focused and the metal was kind of like a side thought like almost like a more dramatic version of a kmfdm if you will but now they have definitely evolved in terms of their production and their songwriting they incorporate so many different styles of music into what they're doing and if you haven't listened to them and you're a fan of really, really good songwriting. If you're a fan of electronics and heavy metal production, if you're a fan of just fun, like good, fun, catchy, heavy shit, you're really, you're sleeping on this band if you haven't listened to them. You're fucking up. So with that being said, please give Rammstein a listen today. And that's all I'm going to say about that. I'll be back again next week with another suggestion. I hope everyone's doing well. Take care of yourselves, and I will see you later. Guten Tag.